It was midday and I was outside with my friends. They kept bragging about how they broke into a, an abandoned school and saw all these cool things. They spoke about how close it was to our houses, just in walking distance. We all gathered up closer to school. It was me and my friends, Musa, Siddiqui, and my little, my little brother, Ibrahim. He'd cry if I had him bring him along. My friend Sharif was the lookout in case anything went wrong. We scoped out the school to look for ways to get in, but all the windows and doors were boarded up except this one window. So we all picked up rocks and took turns trying to break the window. Finally, Musa's rock broke it. We got through to the old dusty classroom. From then, we went to the class, the hallway. We kept walking till we heard a sensor. Then we booked it out to school. Musa somehow convinced us to go back inside the school. Before we went back in, I knew it was a bad idea, but I still followed. We weren't even halfway in the school till our lookout called and said, Cops! We ran out the school and saw the cops pull up. Musa and Siddiqui booked it down into the woods, and I was right behind them until I looked back and saw my brother standing there saying, Ali, no. I couldn't let my brother get in trouble by himself, so I turned around. While we were in the police car going home, I nagged, I just nagged at my brother on how he should have ran and how we could have gotten away. Thankfully, my parents weren't home, so the cops couldn't tell them anything. But the cops said they would be back later, so before they did, I told my parents everything so we wouldn't get a worse punishment if they heard it from the cops later. But the cops never came back. As I was confessing to my parents, I realized I was in the wrong for going along with my friends and dragging my little brother into the mess. I was proud that my 11-year-old brother convinced me to stop. This incident helped me mature out of this behavior and get away from bad influences. Now I'm more focused on my schoolwork than I've ever been. I want my little brother to follow in my footsteps until he's ready to make his own. I know he will have his own bad influences in his life, but I know that he can get past it and set an example for the other little kids.